instead of just jumping in playing Street Fighter every Friday, we're gonna spend some time doing some news. Because, I don't know, I think it's important to cover a bunch more than just the game, so that it's not just playing the game over and over again. Uh, so, first thing that came up that I noticed yesterday, I just did like a quick look, was Dreamhack Dallas actually starts today. Um, as far, as far as, oh, I saw this yesterday, where is it? Dreamhack Fighters. As far as Dreamhack goes, I think, I'm pretty sure Dreamhack is like kind of one of the, the major tournaments that are usually set up for a whole bunch of different games, but it's like the, the gaming tournament, one of the gaming tournament, uh, events. So they've got Magic and, uh, Omega Strikers, some other games. Um, <clears throat> but they've got, I, my brain just reset for a sec. They've got Street Fighter 6, I think they got, uh, King of Fighters, Guilty Gear, uh, Tekken Smash, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. They got a lot. Prize pool is like a hundred, over a hundred thousand dollars, I think, across the games. So it's pretty neat, actually. Street Fighter 6 literally just came out, and they have a ten thousand dollar prize pool. Which is pretty hype. And I don't, I think it's, uh, similar to, like, um, whatchamacallit? Evo, where like it's just an open tournament, so like whoever wants to join can join. Which I think is pretty cool. There's some cosplay stuff going on as well. Um, I think that's pretty neat. So that'll go the whole weekend. They do stream. Oh yeah, they are doing okay. So there's a Twitch stream here. Um do 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 uh oh my god. Twitch TV, Dreamhack Fighters, you can go watch if you're interested. Which I think is pretty neat. Um, the next thing we got since Street Fighter 6 came out is the Street Fighter 6 Kotaku review, which, I mean, I don't really put much stock in, like, gaming outlet, media outlet reviews, because a lot of times they're, like, kind of biased. Um, this was just the first one that popped up, and I was like, eh, we'll check it out. But from what I've seen as far as reviews go, um, the, like, this game is just getting pretty much universal acclaim. Compare, especially compared to Street Fighter V, which launched with a whole lot of either missing content, um, bad, well, no single player, uh, poor combat, stuff like that, that eventually got fixed. Whereas Street Fighter VI, everyone's just like, no, nah, this, is, this is great. It's accessible. It's fun. Um, its art style is like new and unique. Feels really good. Uh, so as I said, a return to first class fighting. We've got, you know, uh, I don't know, I guess they, they bring up a bunch of points about, like, the characters just feel much more unique, and the new characters are fresh, and so are the old ones, which is true. Like, Ryu looking pretty good. He looks old because they're trying to hand off the series to Luke, which is another thing that I wanted to get to. Um, but, like, a lot of the new characters look really good. Character creation, goaded. And I've heard that um, World Tour is, like, pretty decent. But it seems like the overall um, <clears throat> overall review is a, uh, pretty good. All the memes, Luke's feet. No. Oh my goodness, hold on. Uh, let's see if I can find this. Birthday memes? Oh god. Luke, what's better? Street Fighter 2 or 3? Doesn't matter, Ryu, because Fortnite is better than both of them. Guile, why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food? Of how hot eat the food. I do not care. Have you tried? Try the back back! Not done yet. Back is back. Oh. Whoops, <laughs> Whoops, never mind. Sorry, Deadpool. Still married. Quasar. 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 Sure. Pew, pew. Oh. <laughs> plus ratio. Plus no meter. Plus you fell off. Plus your move better. Plus your inverter. Plus you didn't get into the beta. <laughs> Tap to edit. 
Oh, plague me upon thee! Well, my name is Luke, yo. I'm the future of Street Fighter, yo. Uh huh. Hey guys, this is Alex Lee. Thanks so much for your support over the past few months. Uh, it's been incredible to see all the fan uh, hype for this game, and I'm really excited as well. So I hope you continue to support the game, and I hope you pick it up on June 6th. June 2nd. <laughs> see you in the street, man, dude. Later. I love it. I love it. Yeah, that's good. That's amazing. <clears throat> um. So, yeah, I was kind of skeptical. I was like, okay, Luke being on the front page, because he was a pretty, like, it seemed like he was a last minute addition, and I'm pretty sure, like, he's, like, or he was the last DLC wave for SF5, I believe, right? Or second to last. And, um, from what I've seen, or from what I'm, I'm pretty sure, he wasn't, like, SF5 was his first appearance. Uh, so I was, like, kind of skeptical, but honestly, his design is pretty cool. Um, Voice actors, hilarious. And it seems like they're actually handling that pretty well. Uh, the next thing I saw, and I can't find the actual article that posted it for some reason, um, Street Fighter VI has had the highest all-time peak for a fighting game out of any fighting game that's been released on Steam. Um, and I checked this out. Because there's 64,000 people playing right now. 66,000 peaking eight hours ago. So the fact that for eight hours it has had pretty much a consistent player base. Oh, except for what? What is that? 10 a.m. when people went to work? I guess. I don't know, dude. And then I compared this to like... Um, uh, Guilty Gear. Which, like, even, I believe this is accurate, the release date. Guilty Gear, oh, it actually will show. The all-time peak for Guilty Gear was 31,000. Um, I wonder if Grand Blue has... I can't remember if Grand Blue's on Steam. <clears throat> oh, it is. Grand Blue was 5,000, like, three years ago. Although, Grand Blue is getting a... An update with a uh, Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising, um, which is actually going to be pretty cool. They're putting in uh, like actual rollback and stuff, which is going to be pretty neat, I think. <clears throat> um, but yeah, like even I think even Street Fighter Five. only peaked at 14,000, and that was seven years ago. So, like, A, fighting games have, like, taken off, which is big W. B, like, there's been so much hype for this that, like, I'm so excited because this is good for FGC in general. I have a feeling it's going to be good because we're probably, maybe not, but hopefully going to see, like, new people break out into, like, the um, competitive scene and stuff. Or, like, the, sorry... I don't even know what you call that. The major leagues, for lack of a better term. Um, yeah. So I wanted to check out the roster, because I actually haven't looked at the roster at all. Um, and I just wanted to look at some of them before we actually get into the game. <clears throat> and I'm glad that they have a cameo on top. Probably who I'm going to end up playing as. I apparently have heard that some of the art that you can unlock in the game is a little bit meme -y. So they just have screenshots of her dumpstering people. Damn, dude, the, the game just looks so good. Oh, and they even show like the modern. Oh, that's cool. Oh, God, Cammy's good. Okay, what did they give her for? Oh, they did give her the OG costume, too. That's awesome okay that's sick so i'm pretty sure with the addition that i ended up with i have uh all of the outfit twos for everybody i'm not gonna lie i'm more interested in like the older characters than the newer ones although lily looks really cool 
Lily was actually one of the ones that I really wanted to 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 try out. Capcom making the first part tour have a tumor. Yeah, exactly. Like Capcom's going ham with this. Um people are interested in it. The game's gonna be like the game's good. Yeah, I I like this is gonna take off so much further. Like I remember and I I don't know if this is because like the um like fighting games weren't as popular as like an esport. I mean esports in general weren't as popular like I don't know 10 years ago or whatever, 7 8 years ago when Street Fighter 5 came out. But I remember there being this whole big thing about like people wanting them to um instead of using Street Fighter 5 for for the pro scene, they wanted to use Street Fighter 4 still because 5 was just so terrible. That might be that that might be a uh, that might not be true. I just remember hearing stuff like that, like years ago when Street Fighter V first came out. So it might it might be wrong. Um, Lily's got some cool. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to try out some of these characters. I don't want to look at the move set too much because I'm gonna um, mess around with it when I actually like get into the game. She seems pretty neat though. Damn. Oh my god. Bruh. Okay. What did they give her for costumes? So, does she only have one? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I can't, like, zoom in on those. Those are, that's cool, though. I like that a lot. Um, who else? JP looks cool, but I'm not. Uh, Marissa and Manon were interesting as well. Was uh, she like a Roman? Ah, up and coming jewelry designer. I don't really like playing the, the like big characters in the game. Yeah, you know, wild move set though. What does she got here? I like how her hair frames her face like a helmet. Dude, that's brutal. Okay, what did, what about her costume? I'm sure I could probably check this all out in game, but I want to just do this now. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's like a Suit? Oh, I see, like a fashion designer. Makes sense. Um, DJ is returning, I believe. Ken. Ken? Ugh. Dude, Ken and Ryu have such cool, like, new designs. And so does Luke, actually. I'm, Luke got a glow up, man. He looked so goofy. Ah, Yeah, we'll check the rest of them out in-game. Um, that's about it for, like, the Street Fighter 6 news, though. I wanted to watch the, uh, there's a new character coming out in Guilty Gear Strive that I actually didn't really watch this video, you know, I'm pretty sure you linked it to me. There are 68,487,109 child laborers under the age of 14. Ah, so you can tell, can you? Well, someone hasn't changed. <laughs> Commencing battle with the Turing test. Subjects, both combatants. All of my time is for this. Quiet, please. I'm calculating my chance of survival. You move quite well for what with no seed. Though the leftover. That's wild. Just so you know, I'm fairly sure. It's like a digital I'm wizard pulling yes, spells out of the book and blasting people with them. I think I'll turn this whole place he has a staff? That was close. I yeah, I was gonna say star. like Bro, he's like set up like a priest slash mage slash like I don't know, but he got Jordans on, dude. Goated. 
And he, j yeah, so he just came out, what, like, last week? That's pretty sick. That's cool. With, that is a, hold on. That is a cool stage. Like an orbital space station kind of deal, but it's like a conservatory almost. Wait, actually it got moved to the moon? Oh, that's cool. Huh. And what, some new colors? Yep. Cool. That's cool. Oh yeah, so Season Pass 2 is done. I know almost nothing about Strive, to be fair, and I'm bad at it, so I don't play it. But that's pretty sick. That looks- that looks fun. Um, yeah, that's exciting, actually. Next! Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, After three years or four years. Um, Ben and Amco has announced that there is a rollback beta test and balance update coming. I did not know that DBFC did not have rollback. Uh, anyway, so Arc System Works, apparently, according to this, given Arc System Works' recent history with adding rollback to their older titles, they expect the update should hit the PC version in late spring or early summer. We tried playing the Switch version online yesterday. Got absolutely dumpstered and realized that I should probably be getting um, DBFZ next time it goes on sale on PC if I want to keep playing it, which it was pretty fun, so I probably will if I can get it for a good deal. Um, so let's see here. Oh god. え、昨年のエボでちょっと発表させていただきましたロールバックについてなんですけれども、今、春、春頃に。えっと、スチームでのベータ版、え、こちらの方をま、え、実装、実行していきたいなと思いまして、絶賛開発の方を進めております。so I want to take this opportunity to give you guys some updates. I'm, I'm sure a lot banana. of people in this room are curious about where we are with the rollback netcode we announced at Evo last year. And we're currently planning a beta test on Steam, hopefully around spring. Thank you, thank you. なので、えっと、ちょっとですね、皆様のお力添えをいただきながら、皆様のフィードバックをいただきながら、え、ロールバックの方は、え、実装ですね、あの、完成させていただきたいと思っておりますので、え、皆様のちょっと実装までお待
time to wake up. But I mean, reality. If it looks good, I mean, I'm down. Probably won't buy it, but. In with warmth and peace. In my new era, the choice is yours. Whether to live in quiet serenity. Pog. Or bloody strife. Yeah, that's how I feel. To dwell in joyous prosperity. Or bitter rivalry. Ooh. You can face each other. Oh. I like the redesign. Or united as brothers. But a storm is brewing. And soon you will discover that even in this new era, one constant remains. Oh, yeah, buddy. There's always something worth fighting for. Is this safe to watch on stream? Damn, dude. You have chosen to defy peace. Then you have chosen war with a god. Wait, is that not Liu Kang? Wait, is that? Fatality. Okay. That looks cool. Like I said, I'll never play it. September 19th, so that's coming out this year too. <clears throat> Crazy. I don't like that, that they're locking a character behind pre-order, but it is what it is. But damn, that looks cool. Um, and then the final thing, this was announced like today or yesterday. Uh, GBFV Rising is getting a new character, Siegfried. Uh, when the game launches, I think. I don't think the game's actually out yet. This is pretty cool, dude. I ain't gonna lie. He reminds me of, uh... A Dark Knight from Final Fantasy. This, yeah, the stages in this game are gorgeous. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite um, fighting games artistically. Uh, it's just, it's the only way you can play it is if you're playing on the couch, koa or couch, um, like head to head against someone beside you. You can't play it online. It's brutal. Well, like you can, but like I don't know. But the characters are so cool. Bro, he's guts. Damn, bro, that's cool. The man. Oh, I missed it. My bad. New character in July, Pog. Um, he's actually a mix of a Dark Knight from from Final Fantasy and Guts from Berserk. That's cool. All right. Um, we're gonna actually play Street Fighter Six now because it's time to duel. <laughs> 